Roger Goodell upholding the four-game suspension of New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady for his role in using deflated footballs during last season's AFC Championship game. Goodell equated the deflation of footballs to the use of illegal steroids, saying that steroid use appears to be the closest parallel and reflects an improper effort to secure a competitive advantage, threatening the integrity of the game. Fox Sports' Jim Gray was the last reporter to interview Brady one-on-one, and he had this to say to Sean Hannity last night. They've taken $7 million in seven months on this. Really? And all they can come up with is circumstantial evidence but not one shred of evidence that says that he I did something him. wrong it, it, it's just it's uh, I, I believe you're right sean he's he's a victim of the failures of the past joining me now from dallas is Genesco sports president and ceo john tatum john good to have you on the program thanks so much for joining us good morning maria so good to be with you do you agree with with uh with jim gray that he's basically a victim of the past i mean we know the history of the nfl we know what's gone on with some of the players in terms of domestic abuse steroid use is is, is goodell basically just saying look this is not a- as bad as the others but it doesn't matter well there's there's two things happening i think first of all the integrity of the game is the most important thing to uh the commissioner um, the, the commissioner's job, quite frankly, is, is the two priorities are, one, to make sure the game is being played, make sure there's labor peace, and then secondarily to p- protect the integrity of the game. So I think, uh, I think it is very important. Um, you know, it's certainly different than steroid use, but it's, it's up there as, as one of the highest uh, uh, priorities of, of the commissioner. So, so whatever it is, you- it, it's the integrity of the game, and, and it doesn't matter you know, what uh, offense you're talking about or what, what, you know, what uh, uh, issue you're talking about, it's the integrity of the game and, and the punishment should be the same. If, if there's cheating, if there's a potential loss of confidence by fans, uh, then the, the sport has a real problem. And uh, so I think the, the commissioner, uh, first and foremost, makes, wants to make sure that there's fair play, uh, that there's compliance with the rules. And I think the second piece to this, this story is uh, the cooperation or potentially lack thereof cooperation uh, by maybe Tom Brady, maybe his people, uh, his representatives. And I think that's been uh, a proven history with uh, Commissioner Goodell. Yeah, if Dave- you're forthright, mm-hmm. go, uh, go ahead, Maria. Sorry. Dagan mentioned earlier that, you know, Tom Brady destroyed his cell phone. Uh, and, and there were probably texts on that. Is, is that damning? What do you think about that? Is, is that basically what, what, what forced uh, Goodell's hand? Absolutely. I think that was one of the things. Obviously, uh, the commissioner heard the appeal. Uh, they spent several hours uh, meeting with uh, Tom Brady and, and his agent and representatives, and clearly there was nothing that came out of that appeal uh, that made them think that he was being forthright or, or helping to uh, provide evidence that uh, he wasn't complicit in this. So, so uh, I think that they knew coming out of the appeal that uh, there were some stonewalling going on, and 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 they probably checked on the legal Im- implications of, uh, of going forward with it, but I, I think the commissioner made uh, uh, a really great call. So I don't agree with Jim Gray uh, at all. What, what do you think this means for Tom Brady's career? I mean, obviously it's four games. How, how does this play out longer term? Well, he, he's obviously going to uh, potentially miss four games pending uh, the uh, lawsuit that his representatives will file or an injunction mm-hmm. to stop this. And uh, that's going to cost him about $2 million. Mm-hmm. So it's an expensive, uh, an expensive fine. I think that, you know, is Tom Brady tainted by this? He's a great quarterback. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback. He, uh, you know, but I think that you have a little bit of a loss of confidence potentially by some fans. Some uh, uh, football fans that weren't fans of Tom Brady can point to this and say, oh, he's a cheater. But I don't think in the scheme of things, uh, all the things he's accomplished, the uh, air inflation of the footballs uh, has allowed him to throw for those touchdowns and all those yards and won all those Super Bowls. I, I think this was something that was an infraction of the rules. I think it's probably taken a little bit away from his brand, his personal mm-hmm. brand, 
Uh, but I think you know his accomplishments on the field are, are certainly not going to be uh, his entire book of work is not going to be tainted by right, this. right, Dagan. Do you think? How do you think it goes? Do you think that uh, the uh, the four game suspension does eventually stand? Do you, does Tom Brady start the season though as this as the appeal of the appeal moves forward? Well, I believe uh, that it's going to be hard for a, uh, a judge or a court uh, to, to file an injunction to uh, mm -hmm. hold, you know, stop this because I believe that Brady and his representatives are going to have to show where uh, inevitably when this case is heard, he mm -hmm. will be exonerated. And if he had the uh, evidence, whether it was text, whether it was, you know, look at my phone or, or here's the uh, text mm -hmm. to this particular trainer or equipment manager, I think he would have brought him forward at the time that he had his appeal with the commissioner. Right. So I don't know if there were damning texts on that cell phone or whatever, but he clearly uh, wanted to get rid of it for yeah. some reason. Right. And. Uh, his, you know, his lawyer said he gets rid of his phone a lot and, and gets a new phone. John, you know many of the owners in the league very well. You're doing business with a lot of them. There's been a lot of talk that some owners, more specifically owners of the rival teams of the Patriots, were putting pressure on Goodell to come down hard on the Patriots uh, and on Tom Brady. Do you believe that? No, I don't, I don't think that uh, there's rival owners uh, putting pressure on the commissioner to, to uh, punish, um, you know, another player. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you from firsthand experience, I was with uh, Art Rooney on, uh, on Wednesday, uh, this past Wednesday in, uh, at training camp, and, uh, you know, he's got a player, Le'Veon Bell, uh, that's facing a suspension and is going to miss the Patriots game, ironically, as, as one of his uh, games missed. So uh, Art, I think, would have loved to have Tom Brady play. Uh, maybe Coach Tomlin wouldn't like to see Tom Brady on the field, but uh, I think Art would have loved to have all the players uh, right. intact for that first game. So, so, uh, it, it makes but a lot I, of sense. I don't, I don't believe that he – yeah, I don't, I don't believe any owner – I think, if anything, the owners – uh, understand that, uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, the commissioner said this a lot, it's a privilege to be associated with the National Football League. Right. It's not a right. And, and as so, uh, as being part of that privileged uh, fraternity or group, you have to play by the rules. Yep. And if you don't play by the rules and you're caught by the league, the commissioner expects full transparency. And when he doesn't feel like he's getting transparency, then that's when the hammer comes down. Yes, and that's right. You can go back to the New Orleans Saints or any of these other situations. And I think Roger's been very consistent with that. I, I, I think he exonerated Michael Vick because yep. he felt like Vick was truly sorry. And, and so. that is the message of this ruling from Goodell, no doubt about it. John, thanks so much. Appreciate your insights. John Tatum uh, this Thank morning. Thank you, Maria. We'll see you soon, sir. Millennials.